legend. On April 13th, 1944, Commander Sam Dealey and his crew face a Japanese destroyer in the South Pacific. In three war patrols, they have already sunk 10 Japanese merchant ships, but they have never beaten a destroyer, a type of warship that carries depth charges. Depth charges are syndrilical canisters, about two and a half feet. They're triggered by an orifice that, that allows seawater to come in, so that when a certain amount of seawater actually gets in, it triggers the depth charge to explode. Packed with up to 325 pounds of explosives, they're rigged to sink submarines. Just before 7 p.m., Dealey decides to attack instead of evade the destroyer. Ready, tube two. Two ready. Fire tube. Two on the way. At some point, he realized that when he was being pursued by destroyers, instead of waiting for them to depth charge him, he could shoot back. Stand by three. Fire three. Three on the way. A bubble trail from Dealey's steam-powered torpedoes will give away Harder's location. Fire four. If the offensive fails, four on the, way. the destroyer will know exactly where to find them. Carter's skipper sinks the escort before it can drop a single bomb. More than two years into the Pacific War, only 14 Japanese destroyers have been sunk by American submarines. Dealey joins an elite group of submarine officers daring enough to accomplish this exclusive feat. The success emboldens him. Commander Sam Dealey is a calm, professional, and reserved naval officer. However, in the heat of a battle, he turns out to be very, very aggressive in a way that many had not foreseen. The 37-year-old Dealey has commanded USS Harder since it was commissioned in 1942. The soft-spoken skipper comes from an upper-crust Texas family. Usually officers from those kind of families didn't go to submarines. Submarines were associated with a career path in the Navy that really didn't go very far. But like uh, aviation in the war years, it was seen as a negative. So for him to take that path says a lot about him as an individual. You have to understand, there are people that, that you would meet that would seem to be the quietest, cautious types. Then you find out they were completely crazy and they would do things that, that would be absolutely terrifying. For Dealey, the, the easy solution isn't necessarily the best solution. Could he back out of an attack? Yes. However, it would also go against his nature. Dealey and the crew of USS Harder and their patrol in Fremantle, Australia. Fremantle became an Allied sub base after another Japanese assault only two months after Pearl Harbor. In February 1942, the island of Java fell in a fiery campaign and sent the Americans stationed there into a panic retreat. They scuttled military assets like the warship USS Stewart, dry docked for repairs when the Japanese struck. The destroyer fell into enemy hands. The Japanese Empire reaches a zenith. Stretched out over about 20 million square miles in seven time zones, so it's huge. It's held together over millions of miles of sea lanes and open ocean. They're an island nation. We depended on this maritime highway uh, to move all their goods around. They had to import almost everything they needed, including rice. And that was especially acute when it came down to war materials, particularly oil, which is the precious fuel source for battleships, bombers, fighters, everything. The massive, but far-flung empire is also a weakness. In early 1944, American submarines in Australia are commanded by Rear Admiral Ralph Waldo Christie. Christie's silent hunters target Japanese ships hauling goods to sustain the Pacific War. Allied operatives planted throughout the Japanese empire spy on shipping and collect intelligence that helps Christie assign his submarines. 